In June 2023, the world watched in shock and disbelief as the submersible Titan disappeared during a mission to explore the wreck of the Titanic. Communications were suddenly lost, and for days, hope hung by a thread. Then, the heartbreaking news came through. The Titan had imploded deep underwater, killing all aboard in an instant. The tragedy sent ripples across the world and sparked urgent questions about the safety of deep-sea exploration. But almost exactly one year later, another submersible quietly celebrated an extraordinary milestone. The DSV Alvin, a vessel that had been exploring the ocean's depths for decades and had visited the Titanic many times, turned 60 years old in June 2024. Remarkably, Alvin is still in active service today. It was first launched just months after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Yet here it is, six decades later, still carrying scientists and explorers into the depths of our planet's oceans. This contrast between the tragic fate of the Titan and the enduring success of Alvin raises a compelling question. What is it about submersibles like Alvin that enables them to remain safe and operational for decades, while the newest, supposedly cutting-edge craft like Titan failed catastrophically? A recent Netflix documentary pulled back the curtain on the company behind the Titan, OceanGate. The film revealed troubling details about a toxic corporate culture where engineers and safety experts who voiced concerns were systematically pushed out. According to multiple insiders, OceanGate's CEO fostered an environment of blind obedience rather than open, critical oversight. 